Okay, YouTube, this is part two of the Red Snow Beta. In part one, I show you how to get into the DFU mode. You can see with the iTunes logo right there, <coughs> we're in DFU mode. So now we're going to proceed with part two of the jailbreak. Now, after you put in DFU mode, you want to reload redstone.exe. You can see I reloaded it. Now I'm going to go next and next. And I'm going to hold the top left corner for three seconds without releasing the hold button hold the home button for about 10 seconds now without releasing the home button release the hold button and keep that for about 30 seconds so you can watch the time go down I'm just holding the home button okay we're successful if Windows says USB device not recognized during a waiting for a reboot stage unplug the iPod from computer and plug it back in Okay, we're uploading first stage. I could see it's just doing its thing. It's uploading the RAM disk and we're downloading the jailbreak data. So pretty much this device is now jailbroken. If you guys are interested in any custom themes or anything, um, please rate, comment, subscribe, post me up a comment and we're going to try to post out some custom themes with video wallpaper. We're pretty much doing some music themes, so if you guys are interested in Van Halen, Beatles, Zeppelin, send us a message. <clears throat>And I ended up having to switch computers because one of uh, my computers had a problem with this. It wasn't working, so I ended up switching computers and I'm just breaking fine with this one. So this should take about 3-4 minutes. As you can see it's flashing the NOR. This isn't going to give us installer. This is probably going to give us Cydia. So when the full version comes out... I'll probably do a video on that and you'll probably have installer and Cydia and this is not intended so you're not relying to boot with an, using another device to cause this to boot so you could pretty much turn off restart and not having any dependency. <clears throat> so we're almost done here. Um, they pretty much don't need the software anymore unless you want to re jailbreak. But if you run into any problems like my brother did, you'll probably have to restore and <clears throat> re jailbreak again. So the stuff you could mess up with that you'll end up having to restore, like don't mess up with Bros Preps or stuff. There's some stuff you shouldn't mess with. And when you use um, Open SSH and WinSCP. Uh, there's a lot of internal files that people could pretty much mess up and um, end up having to restart their iPod. But according to D7, there's pretty much no way you can mess up your iTouch or iPhone unless you pretty much crack the screen. There's always a way to fix it, and there's different ways to fix it. So as you can see, we're booting. And remember, please comment, rate, and subscribe. So this is pretty much almost done. As you can see, I don't have a custom boot uh, logo. This is just the standard Apple one. Now <laughs> the computer is pretty much detecting it. So it should be booting up in about any second. When the full one's out, I'll probably cover that one too, so stay tuned for that one. This should be about another minute.
If it takes long, um, it's not a problem. It's pretty much installing things, so. I heard there was um, a lot of issues with this, and I did have issues with this myself, so I kept on trying until I got it. I also read pe people had problems with this, so it's not a big deal if you do it right. And if you mess up the first time, just put it back in DFU mode and start again. <clears throat> so I'm um, <clears throat> iPhone Master 5150, and this is my Redstone Jailbreak. Bye.